can't know this stuff. Hey! Eyes to yourself. Whatever. Whoa, she got number five? Oh, come on, can't you help a girl out? Oh, fine. I'll answer these on my own then. <laughs> you want to sneak a peek? <laughs> then get a load of this. Scary, huh? Attach a rubber bug to a string. And tape it to your notebook. Put tape on this guy, too. Here we go. She's totally gonna take the bait! <laughs> I'm gonna ace this thing after all. <laughs> I feel smarter already. Mm. That'll teach Jennifer to study. Another afternoon, another art project. Hey girl, you don't mind if I work on my painting in here, do you? First, I gotta lay out all my supplies. Oh, hello, paint palette. And what kind of painter would I be without my brush? Oh man, how am I supposed to use this thing now? I don't have time to go out and buy new brushes today. Hey. Are those Q-tips over there? I wonder if these could work as well as my brush. I'm just gonna borrow these for one second, okay? Hey! I need those! Ooh, a toothbrush can work too. Okay, with these materials, I'm finally ready to dive into this. For this art hack, you'll need a nice big piece of white paper and a bunch of Q-tips tied together with a rubber band like this. Go ahead and dip the bundle into a giant glob of paint. It's okay if it's unevenly distributed. Once that's done, blot it onto the page in random spots. For accent colors, just use one Q-tip and dip it into the color of your choice. And among a sea of green dots, a couple streaks of reddish-brown can turn it into a full-blown tree. Try using toothbrush bristles to help create realistic texture in your paintings as well. Using small strokes, you can emulate actual blades of grass, see? Wanna check out my latest work of art? Wow, you're really like a modern-day Monet. Last thing you have to do is find a nice place on the wall to showcase your masterpiece. Because you're gonna wanna look at it all the time. We've all had one of those days where we feel a little… blue. And no matter how much your friend tries to make you laugh, you just can't seem to get in a good mood. And boy, is Bella trying hard to make this sad sap laugh. It's no use, Bella. I'm just too down in the dumps. Too down to smile at Mr. Moose Face? Yikes, <sighs> Justin's not budging. Oh man, there's gotta be something I can do to cheer you up. Oops, there goes my fork. Yes, the perfect opportunity to make Justin laugh! And all I need is right here in my old trusty backpack. Sometimes, a little extra creativity can really come in handy. And in this case, a black marker is just the ticket. When your friend isn't looking, you have a small window to create the best joke ever. On a plate like this one, draw a little stick figure holding a balloon. Aha! Uh, Bella, what on earth are you doing? Did you know that if you pour water on a nearly dried marker, it'll lift it right off the glass surface? See? He's moving around! Wow. That's actually pretty funny. No matter what design you draw, this little trick is always sure to bring a smile to your face. Try drawing a little boat and watch it sail away. How does this work? Why don't you give it a try? See? Nothing like a little creative spirit to turn the frown upside down. Having a relaxing day can take a sharp turn after being faced with a sink full of dirty dishes. Oh man, I knew I should have just done these last night. Well, no better time than the present, right? Man, cleaning dishes is sure time consuming, isn't it? But once you get into the groove of it, the sink becomes less and less full. Alright, we're on the last dish, ladies and gentlemen. Phew, that was a lot of work. But I think I worked up an appetite. Wait, what am I doing? I just got through cleaning all these darn things! I really don't want to dirty another dish. If you need to use a plate but don't want to deal with dirty dishes, this hack will become your new best friend. 
Before you use your plate, cover it with a layer of plastic wrap. Then go ahead and pour whatever food you want to eat right on top of it. Ooh, this pasta looks so good, doesn't it? Chow down on that grub without ever getting a speck of dirt onto your dish. And when you're done, simply throw away the plastic and you're good to go! Now that was way easier than washing a dish, wasn't it? Alright, plate! You can go right back where you came from! The best way to get out of cleaning is to wait till your mom leaves the house. Netflix, here I come! But perhaps a bucket of popcorn isn't the best choice for horror flick watching. Oh man, that popcorn is going to get all over the floor! Looks like Lily's going to have to clean up whether she likes it or not. Where's the remote? I am putting a stop to these zombies for good! Phew. That was an awful close one. Oh no! My mom's gonna be home soon and I didn't clean a thing! Hey, think this toy remote can lend a hand? Toy car to the rescue! Oh yeah, I can definitely do something with this. Especially if it means less work for me. For an easy cleanup hack, try attaching broom bristles to a remote-controlled car like this. Slide through some plastic zip ties like these to the front of the car. Make sure it's nice and tight. And be sure to put the same one on the other side. It may be a little tricky, but trust us, the result is totally worth it. There you go! Don't forget to cut off any excess plastic from the ties. Whoa! Now this is what I call cleaning in the year 2020, people! Let's put this thing to work, shall we? With something like this, you can sweep up a mess in a fraction of the time it'd take you to do with a regular broom. Yes! Job well done! Yep, looks nice and clean to me! All you have to do now is dump the trash right into the garbage bin. Things just don't get easier than this. Thanks for saving the day, toy car! When you lose yourself in conversation, you don't always see what's coming. That was close. Now you jump! With these little legs? Okay, I got this. Just gotta make sure I'm stretched. Alright, puddle. Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, so close. Great. Now my feet are soaked. Why did I think my little legs could jump that far? Ugh. Before you swear off shoes forever, here's how to fight wet shoes all together. Simply rub a candlestick on your canvas shoes. See the wax coming off? Once you've covered the whole shoe, take a blow dryer to it. This will seal up the wax. Let's give those guys a whirl! Now puddles are no match for your tennies. See? Dry as can be! Ta-da! Whoa! I've waited two weeks for you to get here! And boy are we gonna have a good time! Wearing new shoes is the best, isn't it? From the park to the mall, you wear them everywhere. But it comes with a price. Hi, Amy. Oh man, these new shoes are killing me. See? Ooh. That's brutal. Hmm. I have it! Say hello to your new best friend! One strip of this stuff is all you need. Hey, I'll give it a go. There! That should do it! Let's see… Yes! Aw, there's no stopping these girls now!